Uh, good morning, students. We will continue chapter 9, AC Trained. Okay, the subject teacher will be in Minumba. If you have any doubt, you can directly contact the concerned subject teacher. Let us learn what is AC Trained first. When we have a look on the term AC Trained, it was first used by Robert August in the year 1872. As we all know, as the name says, né, acid rain. That means the rain that contain acid. We call it as acid rain. Let's have a look on the second point. Rain that is usually acidic in nature. Third point, it is rain with high level of hydrogen ion concentration. When we have a look on the pure rain water, pure rain water is neither acidic nor alkaline. It is neutral, having the pH of 7. But however, due to the presence of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the rainwater that we attend on the earth or obtained on the earth is slightly acidic with a pH of 5.5 to 5.7. And this is all because of carbonic acid that is being formed in our atmosphere. Have a look on the last point. Um, increasing acidity in the soil and the ground water is becoming acidic as a result of acid rain. When we have a look on the soil, okay, as well as the ground water, they are becoming acidic, and this are a result of the phenomena of acid rain. Okay, next one. To let us learn what are the causes of acid rain. Due to human, human activities, huge quantities of gases like SO, the sulfur dioxide and uh, nitro uh, nitrous oxide are being sent into the atmosphere. When we have a look on the first point, human activities, the human activities include such as burning of fossil fuels, automobile, exhaust, domestic fires and power plant emissions. When we have a look on these things, because of human activity, large amount of sulfur dioxide and nitrous oxide is being produced and they are sent directly into the atmosphere. Have a look on the second point. These cases are obtained as a result of oxidation of sulfur and nitrogen present in the fossil fuels. Okay, the main reason behind this is because of the fossil and these cases are produced as a result of oxidation and they are sent into the atmosphere directly. These gases are further oxidized. They get further oxidized with the help of atmospheric oxygen. That means, as we all know, in the atmosphere, oxygen is present. And they combine with it, and again, they result in various kinds of reactions. This again combined with moisture. That means, when we say moisture, means like rainwater, and when they heavy, they fall on the earth as acid rain. That means. Because of uh, combination with uh, this sulfur dioxide will combine with various kinds of uh, uh, oxygen and thus they combine again with the rain and after that they fall on the earth as acid rain. That is the cause of acid rain and that is the reason how acid gas are being formed. The next one, harmful effects of acid rain. First one, directly affect vegetation in germination and flowering stage. That means uh, when we have a look on the acid rain, as the acid rain will fall on the earth, it will destroy the plantation and as well as they will destroy the flowering stage in a plant. Second point, serious damage to the architecture and building. Okay, when this acid rain will fall on the earth, it will destroy various kinds of buildings. The example we can find it in case of Taj Mahal. Uh, when we have a look at Taj Mahal, it's made up of marble, yes or no? It, and then marble is being eaten by acid content of the rain water. And why this is, uh, architecture, that is the Taj Mahal, is getting destroyed because of the pollution caused by the refineries at Mathura, which is not far from the Taj Mahal. Okay, and thus they uh, when this Various kinds of refineries will release uh, 
sulfur dioxide as well as nit nitrous oxide they will uh, fall on the earth as acid rain and thus they destroy the Taj Mahal okay third point acidity in legs killing aquatic organism when this acid rain will fall on the water bodies the the water will become acidic and so acidic cannot be consumed by aquatic animals and thus it will lead to extinction of various kinds of aquatic animals such as fishes number four pollute groundwater and causes and causing diseases in the human when we have a look on this acid rain acid rain will pollute the water okay and thus they will enter the crown water and thus they will lead to the pollution of crown water apart from that if we happen to consume such kind of water it will cause kinds of health issues such as respiratory nervous and digestive disorder in human as well as various kinds of organism if they happen to consume polluted or acid rain let's have a look on the last point for today control and measures how can we control this acid rain first point device should be developed to absorb sulfur and nitrogen oxide as we all know acid rain is being caused by sulfur and nitrogen oxide we should do, uh, develop a device that will control uh, this sulfur and nitrogen oxide second point Petroleum should be freed of sulfur and nitrogen at refining stage. When we go on with the processing of various kinds of fossil fuels while we refine, it has this sulfur and nitrous oxide has to be excreted out. Number third one, the last one, quick remedy of acid deposition can work out by using lime. That means if we use lime, that is CaO, it can quickly decompose the acid rain, but it is proved to be very, very costly. Such liming program has been carried out in legs as well as in bond in various kinds of countries like New York. It works, it is, it is important, it, it is working, but the cost is very, very expensive. That is one of the reasons. That's all for today.